the big scary point of all this is the effects it's had on me, my children, uh, our lives. It's just, it just broke us apart. I had no choice but to move our children out of this house. The, we, we don't know to the level of what's in the ground, what's in our house, what's in the walls. Uh, our value of our property is gone. There is a major pollution problem that poses a grave risk to the environment and health and lives of millions of people in the United States, including right here in Prince William County. The contaminant causing the pollution is the waste product Coal Combustion Residuals, or CCR, commonly known as coal ash. It is the material remaining after coal has been burned. Coal ash is stored in pits and mixes with rainwater or runoff to form ponds that are often on the site of the power plant. There are 1,425 sites across the country, creating a multi-billion ton legacy of toxic material. Pollution from coal ash occurs when it comes into contact with water. Its toxicity leaches or dissolves out of the coal ash into the water. This contaminated water can then escape through broken or leaking dams, percolate through the ground into groundwater supplies, or leach through the bottom of unlined ponds. Coal ash toxics have leached from disposal sites in more than 100 communities, carrying toxic substances into rivers, streams, and wetlands. Locally, Dominion Virginia Power burned coal at its Possum Point plant from 1955 until 2003, creating 4 million cubic yards of coal ash. Disagreement over how to properly dispose of this massive amount of toxic material is the critical issue. The EPA has estimated that people who drink water from a well near an unlined coal ash pond may have as much as a 1 in 50 chance of getting cancer from drinking arsenic contaminated water. Arsenic is one of the most dangerous pollutants from coal ash. In addition to arsenic, there is selenium, mercury, lead, and boron, as well as several other heavy metals. The grave danger of these toxic components is well known. Dominion Virginia Power is a $50 billion energy company operating primarily in Virginia and North Carolina. Almost half of the energy it produces is from coal-fired plants. It is also a major player in nuclear energy production. The company is considered one of the most influential political and social powers in Virginia and has spent generously through its Political Action Committee and the Dominion Foundation. Several environmental and conservation organizations are opposed to Dominion's and other power companies' plans for the disposal of coal ash as being inadequate. Leading the local effort is the Potomac River Keeper Network. The Potomac River Keeper is Dean Now Yucks. We've been concerned about Dominion's coal ash ponds. They have five coal ash ponds, which are primarily unlined and been leaking for over 30 years. Uh, contaminants, a lot of heavy metals. Uh, they're carcinogenic into Quantico Creek, into the Potomac River, and they've been contaminating groundwater, which is also leaching in and contaminating people's drinking water wells nearby. Dominion Virginia Power has an estimated 4 million cubic yards of toxic coal ash that must be disposed of safely. The only generally accepted method of doing this is in a fully lined landfill. This type of disposal has been used in nearby states. The construction of this type of landfill starts with an excavated pit on an approved site. The pit is first lined with a heavy layer of clay, which is fully covered by a 30 mil synthetic liner. Drainage material and drain pipes to carry away toxic water leachate are installed. Dried coal ash can then be placed in the pit. When the landfill reaches capacity, it is sealed with another layer of synthetic liner, drainage material, a thick layer of soil, and then covered with vegetation. Dominion's solution to dispose of the 4 million cubic yards of coal ash at Possum Point uses an existing pond constructed with a clay liner that licensed professional engineers have determined does not meet current EPA requirements. Without the synthetic liner and drainage system in the pit, which are standard for even common trash landfills, there is a real danger of seepage and leaks, which will enter the groundwater and poison the creeks and river, as well as residential wells, into perpetuity. 
Besides impacting the health of humans, coal ash toxic components will also continue to impact the environment and health of the Potomac River and Quantico Creek, which provide the habitat for many species of fish and other wildlife. The reality is, is that for over 30 years, Dominion has been contaminating groundwater that's well documented by the state. This creek right behind me is Quantico Creek, which flows in the Potomac River. And these ash ponds have now impaired this creek from all these heavy metals. There's all these heavy metals in the sediments. We've tested this. The state is aware of it. Dominion has dumped 27.5 million gallons of toxic coal ash without a permit, untreated coal ash water. There's all these discharge points at which all these contaminants have been leaching out of the coal ash ponds, directly discharging Quantico Creek. So they've been polluting Quantico Creek and the Potomac River for a long, long time. And it's time for Dominion to clean up its ash. Duke Energy, Santee Cooper, SCG&E, Georgia Power, all of these utility companies in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia are now cleaning up ash and moving it into dry line storage. Dominion has reportedly stated that it would require 100,000 truckloads to get all of the coal ash moved away from Possum Point. This is clearly undesirable on a two-lane residential road. But the reality is there's a rail line that runs right through their plant. They already have it in place, and there's a barge system, a whole barge set up for them. So they can actually haul this stuff out by boat uh, and also by rail, which would be a lot cheaper, and they could haul a lot more each and every time than doing individual trucks. Minion's reputation regarding its intent to properly solve its coal ash problem was severely tarnished when it dumped approximately 30 million gallons of untreated coal ash water into Quantico Creek in May 2015 before it was issued a permit for allowing dumping of treated water in January 2016. The town of Dumfries, along with the Potomac Riverkeeper, called on the EPA to conduct a criminal investigation. Our plan is to dewater our ponds and then cover them with caps to ensure that it's protective of the environment going forward and that is a far better solution than taking that same ash, putting it in a truck, transporting it down our public highways, and putting it in another landfill where it would also be capped. I'm extremely confident that what we're doing at our power stations will protect both human health and the environment. One of the concerns Potomac Riverkeeper has is that other states are actually requiring Duke Energy and other utility companies to actually relocate coal ash into modern day landfills that are properly lined, that are put into dry line storage so they can no longer drain all these metals that are carcinogenic into groundwater and surface water and threaten people's drinking water supplies. But unfortunately, Virginia DEQ is not requiring that here in Virginia. So um, Virginia may be the only southern state that is not requiring toxic coal ash to be relocated into dry line storage. This danger is not theoretical. Independent testing has shown that these carcinogenic chemicals and heavy metals have already contaminated nearby residential wells. It's Dominion finally acknowledged by offering us water that they've done this, they've poisoned us. Spokesman for Dominion Power told me that that day would never happen, that Dominion would run water to the homeowners here. It'd be a pure emission of guilt. Well, now they're admitting their guilt. Let's step up and make them do the right thing. Dan and Patty Morrow's home is located near the Possum Point plant. Raising their family and planning on retiring there, they discovered that their well water contained lead, antimony, and other heavy metals. Even after spending $40,000 to bring in public water, their problems remain overwhelming. Uh, I've talked to real estate people. They said that I could never sell this property because you have to divulge all the known defects of your property. Well, where does it go? It's known that I've got poison in the water. The pipes are poisoned. I have to replace all the pipes in the house. As Even though we've got city water, we do not drink the water because the pipes, I've been told by plumbers, environmentalists, that all these sediments are in your hot water heaters. They're in anything that holds water and all my pipes. I have pipes, I can show you, they're in baggies, that the whole inside of the pipe is just lined with just, I'm not sure what. My youngest daughter was born in the house. She's drank her um, formula through the water in the house. She's got neurological problems, she's got blood problems, she's got, we just realized that their growth in her bones, um, her shoulders are deformed. So we started realizing, wow, what is this from? Is this from our water? Because I need to hope that other people out here will understand the, the, 
the seriousness of this. If they don't stop this and correct it now, everybody else is going to be poisoned. They can clean this up. They have the power, they have the money to clean it up. So I'm um, just pleading with the public to help us with this. Dominion's cap-and-place approach to solving this problem is essentially a gamble. If they are right, they will have saved a lot of money. If they are wrong, it may or may not cost them more to fix later. The residents, though, lose either way. If toxic components enter the groundwater, they will experience health issues and possibly early death. Even if cap-and-place works until it is proven, the years of uncertainty will result in economic loss and emotional harm. There are viable alternatives to Dominion's cap in place. Perhaps most desirable would be to move the waste to a commercial fully lined landfill as other utilities have done, including into a landfill located in Virginia. It is also possible that Dominion could construct a fully lined landfill on existing land at Possum Point. This approach would eliminate the need to transport the material over long distances. There is also the possibility of recycling this material as a component in concrete. The U.S. imports coal ash for this purpose from China. It only makes sense to take the time to study these and other alternatives given the high risk of Dominion's current plan. You have an opportunity to express your opinions of these options and other aspects of this threat to public safety at the Department of Environmental Quality's public hearing on whether to grant Dominion a permit to proceed with their cap-and-place solution. It will be at Potomac High School in Woodbridge, Virginia on February 16th. Is it imperative that this issue needs further study and that Virginia should at least have the same standards as our neighboring states? If your answer is yes, contact your county supervisor and the Virginia Department of Environmental Quality.